We've all heard about the climate crisis. We've all seen these pictures showing animals covered in plastic or the giant garbage patch in the middle of the ocean. But we knew we needed to do something about it. So a group at my school who are part of Rotary's Interact Club were entering the Sustainable Development Challenge a couple of years ago and were coming up with ideas for their project. All of the people in that group were so inspiring. One of those people, Kanisha Charles, who was the president of the club at the time, introduced the idea of a sustainable recycling workspace in a shipping container. The idea came from a company in Europe who originally had the model for this workspace. We called ours Operation Take Two. We ended up winning the Sustainable Development Challenge, which had a $5,000 prize. We began working out the logistics of the project and brought it to our principal and vice principal, who were on board from the beginning. We received huge support from our school and inevitably the community, which led to Big Steel Box partially donating our current workspace. Inside our workspace, we have two machines. The first machine takes all of the plastic recycling we collect from around the school and shreds it down, to then be put into molds and melted down by the second machine. This is the type of model that we're using. We ended up hearing about auditions for Dragon's Den, which, if you don't know, is a TV show where entrepreneurs pitch their business ideas to potential investors. So we went to the audition, and after two very long weeks, we heard back from the producers. And before we knew it, we were on a flight to Toronto to film on the set of Dragon's Den. A lot of the advice we're given as young people is very contradictory. We're told to talk about things that are important and educate ourselves on things that we want to talk about. But as soon as we get out there and start discussing these things, we're told that we're just kids and we don't know what we're talking about. I've tried having conversations with a lot of adults about things that are really going on in the world right now. Instead of listening to what I have to say, I'm being told that my opinion doesn't matter as much as theirs does because they're older and more experienced, although I may be more informed than they are on the topic. These are the same people that are telling me to speak out for what I believe in and share my opinion. How are we supposed to grow up and learn about things that really matter if every time we try to talk about them we're told exactly how to think and act? If I wanted to know how you want me to react to something, I would have asked. Okay, that was a little harsh, but we need to get the point across that you telling us how to feel about everything isn't going to help us form our own opinions. Now, along the way, we reached a lot of roadblocks usually when it came to relying on adults to trust us and allow us to make big decisions. For example, no matter how eager we were to get things started, it seemed as though our ideas weren't being taken into account. But one of the things that really did empower our group to keep going was the support we received from around the school. Of course, a lot of people still think of us as just a bunch of kids who don't know what they're doing, but that feeling that someone believes in you and that you're not alone makes all the difference. So every March, there's a conference in Toronto called Canada We Want. It brings together youth from all over the country to have a say in huge decisions that really affect us. I met so many amazing youth at this conference that really knew what they wanted to happen. And it made me realize that once we set our minds to something, we can literally do anything. One of the best things about the conference was the adult allies that knew we weren't just saying any of this stuff. We actually want things to change and we'll do whatever it takes to make it happen. Okay, so if a group of high school students can create a plastic recycling workspace out of a metal box in their school's courtyard, do you think you can encourage youth to actually speak their minds? Maybe it's time you let us do the talking.